Hey friends. Hello everyone. We wanted to change things up a little bit and tell you a little story time about how we got screwed over, kind of played a little bit um, during our construction process. Yeah, it wasn't fun. It wasn't a good experience at all. So um, you guys listen to our story and hopefully you learn from it. And our two biggest takeaways, one is to make sure Everything is in writing and in your contracts. Read your contracts, read them, look through the, um, what is it called? The builder's list of all your upgrades. Make sure everything you asked for, it's in there. Because what we learned, um, we were told by our salesperson, obviously, if it's not in that document, then it didn't happen. Yep. Um, you can say, he said, she said. If it's not in that contract, they do not have to abide by it at all. You may get lucky and they'll follow through. But just to be sure, make sure everything that you want in your home is in the contract. Okay? Yes. And then the second takeaway, <laughs> the second takeaway is make sure you double, triple check everything your builders, as well as just your contractors generally do in your house. Again, do not take their word for it. Even if it's in the contract, the contract is something for you to use to point to, to say, this is what you were supposed to do and this is what we agreed on. But you should definitely check your house and check it often to make sure that they are actually doing the work properly and it's exactly what you agreed to. And that's even when contractors come to your house too. Like, check, check, check. Go on YouTube, check to see how things are supposed to be done and then see if they're doing it. If they're not, just ask them, why are you doing it this way? Did you consider this? You may find yourself an as annoying, but overall you're going to be happy with the end products because you want to make sure to catch things before it's too late to fix them. Okay, so this is how this is how our builders tried to play us. <laughs> okay, so we had initially not <laughs> we initially not wanted like the standing tub of. The for some reason, I just had a feeling something was going to go wrong with the standing, the freestanding tub. Probably because whenever we got it, they told us that like this was like their newer model, and that you know that they had an older model. That was the one we didn't like. We saw it in their model home, um, which is what kind of turned us away from getting the tub initially. So we, I just had an inkling that I don't know something may go wrong with the tub. So every time we went to the house, which we went to the house like once a week, as you saw in our videos. Um, I was just always checking for the tub, making sure the right tub was in there. One night we had come to visit the house and randomly when we were walking around, we saw the tub and they had put it in our garage. Um, Cause sometimes if like a, a product comes in, I guess earlier, um, they'll, store, they'll store it somewhere so that obviously it doesn't get stolen. So it was in our, sitting in our garage and like I had, it was boxed and I opened it and I saw that Okay, this is the right tub. So I was like, oh, feeling good. Well, a couple weeks later, maybe the next week we went over back to our house. We went into our bathroom and we saw that they had installed the tub. But it was not the right tub. It was their older tub that we did not like that. It wasn't, it was still a freestanding tub. Don't get me wrong, but it just didn't look as modern. It wasn't, I'll try to find a picture. It just wasn't as like, sleek it the it was just very thick around it and i'm like man we were just stuck because remember this costs extra money to upgrade to these things so i was like man we would have just stuck to the regular tub if we would have known that this is the tub they were going to install so of course we look at our documentation it says a specific tub that's supposed to be there so we're like really <laughs> really annoyed but we had to make sure we had the documentation that actually backed up what we were saying we contacted our builder luckily our, our realtor was amazing we got so she i think she contacted the builder and we said you installed the wrong tub this is not the tub that we agreed to now mind you it takes i'm not i can't give the breakdown of what it takes to put in a freestanding tub but there's like plumbing involved and it's just like not it's just not sitting there like it's actually installed into you know whatever the floor like it's 
it's sealed in there. Um, and so I don't think they wanted to, well, I know they didn't want to admit that they didn't provide us the right tub. So they kept pushing back. They're like, no, 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 no. Like that's due to the vendor. They changed, like it's the same tub has this, like it's the same exact tub. It has the same product number, um, but they just changed the style of the tub. So this is the only tubs they have in stock now, but this is the same tub. And like, Olu and I were like looking to see like, cause we're like, okay, that doesn't really make any sense. Cause I'm not like, I'm not a product manager or something like that, but like I have some logic um, or we have logic. And I would assume that if they were going to change like the type of tub, they would at least change the product number. So we like go online and we see this tub that they've installed and it's definitely a cheaper tub. Like the, it's just like the quality doesn't look as good as the initial tub that we, we wanted. It was like, I don't know, it's shiny. And like, and we, just, we saw it was cheaper online. And we see that it has a different product number. And like the, when we put in our product number for that tub, it definitely showed up as the, as the tub that we expected. So we were even more annoyed and irritated, but they stood on that this was the right tub. Um, we, this was, mind you, this was at towards the end. And I think this was getting, hitting our breaking point where we, it's a different time, it's not the market now. We at that point were, we were not going to close on this house without that tub being fixed. Like we stood on that. I had driven back um, to the neighborhood. I think I just wanted to take a picture of the tub so we can make, we can have a better comparison because they were similar, especially if you see it in pictures, they look similar. But when you like got close and really looked in the details, you could tell there was a difference. And especially there was a difference in quality. Whenever I drove back to the house, to take pictures and there was one house on our street that we were like we're building along like around the same timeline they were a little bit ahead of us um in the process and so we had walked their house before and their bathroom se setup was very similar to ours um we hadn't seen like the final touches of the house because remember towards the end they start locking up the house when they're not working um and towards and the, we on the e in the evenings and on the weekends. So, you know, people that can't pick their appliances and stuff. Um, so we had not seen like the finishing touches of that, of that house. Well, whenever I had taken the pictures, I was about to drive out of the neighborhood and I saw that people were working in that house. And so I just wanted to, I don't know, I had a feeling like, let me go and see what their bathtub looks like if they, cause I remember that they, it looked like they're, Bathroom was fitted for a freestanding tub. I just had a feeling. So I go into that house um, and the workers, I, they're familiar with people kind of walking in when they're working. So there, it wasn't a problem. And I went to the bathroom and I saw our tub, like the modern upgraded tub that they said was no longer in stock anymore, that they said had been replaced with this, the less modern tub, the tub they, they had before they you know, stopped producing, apparently, um, they had the new tub. So I took pictures of it. I was sending it to Olu. I was like, look, they have our tub. Like, they have our tub. And that, what I honestly believe, was the tub that was in our garage. And I felt like they probably just picked, I don't know, they probably picked who they thought would be like the least, provide the least pushback or maybe not notice as much if they didn't provide the, the modern up-to-date tub. And maybe they were just trying to get it rid of like the leftover stock that they had. Um, and throughout this process, we had felt in multiple ways that like anytime we had a complaint, our builders, like they kind of acted like they were building this house for us for free. Like we didn't pay for this. Like any upgrade that we had, you know, pushed on, paid for. And if it, if it wasn't coming exactly like they said it was supposed to be, that's in our documents, they would try to like, oh no, no, no. Like, you know, do we really want to like, you know, like fight over these minor details. They kept saying, think of all the equity that you have on the house. Like, would you really want to like delay this or potentially not have this house and you wouldn't get all this equity? Like, does that really matter? And the grand scheme things, all this stuff, even though we paid for these upgrades. So they had said that multiple, multiple times when we had pushback. Even they'd be like, you could change it later. It's like we paid for this upgrade so we don't have to change it later. Uh, they had no idea how pissed off we would get of them switching the tub just because like 
we didn't want it in the first place. We know you showed us a specific tub and then now you're really just trying to play us. And like we're stupid by saying it's like the same product where they just changed it, um, changed the look of it. And so we took those pictures. We, along with what we agreed to in this contract with the product number, we're like, this is our tub. I thought you said they were not producing the tub anymore. Like what, like this person who newly, they had this recently installed has this tub, like we need this tub. And they were acting like they didn't have the tub and the only tub that they had was in like the model home. So we're like, that's fine. They can take the tub in the model home and put it in our house and take this old tub and put it in the model home because we're like, we're not doing this. We're not closing without that tub in our house. The next time we came to the house, we, this multitasking is really, really hard. Like <laughs> that, the multitasking. And credit to all the people who do these get ready with me, get ready with me because it's just like talk. There's not much getting ready happening. So ultimately, when we came back to the house, the builder, the construction manager was there and he, they acted like they were doing us a favor. And they were like, make sure you say, you know, thank you to, you know, your salesperson or whatever, sales lead, whoever the main contact is, because she pushed hard for you to get this tub. And we, you know, had to go like all out of our way, get it shipped, whatever, climb a mountain, build, rebuild it, whatever it is, um, to get this tub to you. But we did it. We did it for you. In our head, we're like, we literally paid. This is what we paid for. This is what we originally agreed to. So ultimately, as you see, we have this beautiful tub in here. But it was just something like, I don't know, we really had to sit down and like, are we not going to close on this house because of this tub? But we knew, like, I don't know, every time we saw the tub, which is like a big part of our bathroom and our bathroom design, we would remember that, like, this is not the tub. This is not the tub that we paid for. This is not the tub that we were supposed to get. And that was just, for us, it was just going to make just our bathroom not as peaceful as a place as we wanted um, and just not provide the memories that we wanted. And so we pushed hard. And luckily, we had, like, our contract to back it up, and we, <laughs> we had the receipts to back it up. Long story short, check your contracts, especially as a lawyer, read them, read them, read them. I know you may not understand every single detail in that contract. Your realtor may be able to like help you uh, get some clarity as well. If you need to get a lawyer, get a lawyer, but definitely know that, especially in this, in when markets are crazy, that contract is going to be the document that could potentially make or break your building process. So hopefully this is helpful or at least entertaining, check your contracts and, and do due diligence thro throughout the process of building your house to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do. Okay, this is the final face look. I need to do my hair and actually do my clothes. Um, this took me way too long <laughs> to do. I can't talk and do my makeup. Shout out to all those who can multitask, but I will show you the final. I say hello 